Stories of Don Bosco. Mm -hmm. That's the title by Pepin. Mm -hmm. What page are we on? 21. Page 21. Don Bosco was a strange person. He was a saint in Italy. He could do unusual things, like he traveled to France. See, he traveled to France. I don't have a blanket. Where's your blanket? Where is my? I don't have a blanket. traveled to France without hmm. without a that one thick thank you that's why it won't be cold at night or just put the temperature at The air conditioning at 80 degrees so I won't be cold. Don Bosco traveled to France Wow how do, how do I explain this? He could travel without leaving Italy. Perhaps he would lock himself in his room in Italy and then travel. Oh, uh, it's called spirit walking. Spirit walking? Yeah. Sounds excellent. Uh, como hacia astral projection. Teleporting. Teleporting. Something like that. Astral yes. projection. Astral projection. Very well. The other one that could do that is the saint from Peru that was black. Go ahead, son, start reading. His first dream. His first dream. What page are you on? 21. All right. Loud and clear. Son of the lady whom your mother taught you to smooth three times a day, answered the man, and these things are not hard. By obeying the lady whom I shall send to you, you will do everything with ease. The man disappeared, and the boys immediately changed into dogs, wolves, and other animals. Trembling with fear, John turned and saw a woman appear behind him, beside him. She was a beautiful and a gracious. She was beautiful and gracious and wore a mantle of gold. Don't worry, John, she said, taking his hand into hers. What I shall do for these animals, you must do for all my children. If you are to change them into lambs, you must be humble and strong. When she had finished speaking, John saw that the wild animals had been changed, been changed to lambs and were 
my bird cage about the wooden sheep. Well, I'm all confused and upset by what he saw. He burst into tears. I don't understand. Don't worry, my child, the lady comforted him. Comforted him. You'll understand everything in good time. Awakened and covered with perspiration, John taught thought for a long time about the strange home folks and said, This morning when he told his family about it, everybody had something to say. You'll be a Guthrie when you grow up. You'll be a what? Goat herd. Goat herder, okay. No, prompted Anthony, his older brother. You'll be the leader of a gang. Grandmother Scuff, don't be silly. You mustn't put yourself in dream. Who knows, but one day you may become a priest, said his mother. John looked up at her and smiled. So what did he become? <laughs> sort of a priest. He became a priest, but a very, un a very unusual one. His mother told him. Don't be a good-for-nothing priest. Be a real one. So I believe it's a very important for you and everyone listening to learn about people that have done extraordinary things, like Don Bosco. What was extraordinary about him? Well, one of the things is that he could, it's not time travel, it's astral projection type thing. And he would talk to people when he went to France. When they asked his name, he said, a book will arrive in five years. He hadn't written the book yet. Or maybe he, he just had written it, but it took five years to travel to France from Italy. All right, so that was one thing. What else was special is that he said when he had the children, the boys from the streets, the homeless orphan boys, he taught his teachers, never make a bad face to these children. You know what I had to do in order not to yell or push or what is the word persuade in a rough manner some children one of them I call them like in Spanish Danielito I'm Daniel right Danielito but you know why I had to do that to remind myself that he is a baby uh, you guys ought to be able to identify the, the person. I'm not talking about the tiny one. I'm talking about the big one. He's still a baby. Yep, that one. <laughs> That's why you saw him there. I was only saying it. Like Your mother didn't get it, but... Nah, I'll tell you. I'll say Danielito. It reminds me that he is a baby. No, but him, I loved it. Maida called him Frankie. <laughs> <laughs> She's lightning, right? <laughs> It was, it was so cute meeting your mother and Maida. You know that the first day they were supposed to meet, they both missed each other by about two minutes? They were supposed to see each other, right? So Maida came, your mother hadn't arrived yet. Maida left, two minutes later, your mother came, where's Maida? <laughs> I classify people into two types, rabbits and turtles. Rabbits like to do a thousand things and they are in a hurry. And turtles do one thing 
per day. <laughs> <laughs> they tend to marry each other. <laughs> That's why I was so comical with Maida. Maida said, I'm waiting for your wife. Oh, she's not here. Okay, bye. <laughs> then Anna shows up. Where's Maida? She just left. <laughs> ah! <laughs> they don't sit still. God bless you. And those that's around you. Go read a book with children. Uh, I'm not in a rush. I'm a turtle. How can I barely answer either one of you? Well, you're both gone. Enjoy your life. Enjoy your life and keep doing good deeds to help other people. One is wet, one is dry, so I keep switching. I have two towels there. All right. Go to sleep, my friends. Or go to work. <laughs> Enjoy your life.